Meet uh, Nigel. He's a normal dentist, a smart fellow, nicely dressed, a good clinician. But when his patient leaves the clinic, he's gripped by a secret shame. A shame which has permeated every aspect of dentistry and has turned its core rotten. We are speaking, of course, of the spectre of alginate abuse. Alginate, a.k.a. Happy Puff, Beaver, Lynch's Secret Brew, Spaff, Jenny Good's Magic Sister, Stephen Boyd's Missing Finger. I was just a normal dentist. One day I was mixing alginate. A pop of powder blew up in my face, all went up my nose. I kind of liked it. Before I knew it, every time a patient left I was running for the box of alginate. Stuffing more and more up my nose just to try and get the same hit. I didn't know what I was doing, but it got me all the same. Nigel's story is a common one. It is estimated that in 2008, one million dentists died due to alginate abuse in the southeastern board. A startling 2% increase over the previous year's figures. One disgusting side effect of alginate abuse is flashbacks. As you can see, flashbacks can make treatment difficult and confusing for both the patient and the operator. These flashbacks will never stop until this man dies. Silly, silly Nigel. We've discussed the symptoms, now let's look at the signs. Residual alginate powder on nose. Glazed over eyes. Disgusting protrusive tongue. Alginate scoop or Napier's ladle always on person. And the upside down name badge, a dead giveaway. As with any vice, there are those who use and those who exploit those who use. This is a dealer, or as he's known in the street, seaweed merchant. Silly, silly Nigel. The few who survive alginate abuse often moved on to harder impression materials, such as an impression compound. Or as it's known in the street, squeeze, Clifford's delight, trumpet, Pat's belligerence, or guff. This guff is then placed in a water bath at 37 degrees to soften it. Like so. It is then applied to the arm and in a process known as imbibition delivers a direct hit. Silly, silly Nigel. Sorry, Dr. Bernard. Impression material abuse has even reached the highest levels in the school of dentistry. Hey, would you knock the bloody door? The following person's name was disguised and an alias assigned to protect his identity. Uh, guys, it's, it's very hard to talk about. I started on the Alzheimer's uh, way back in the 60s with Mr. Clifford. You spend your whole career just seeking to get that same high again, but it doesn't matter how much you take. And before you know it, you're on to the heavy stuff. Polyvinyl siloxane, a.k.a. Weasel, El Madre de Dios, Tyrannosaurus Sex, Hooker T. And Burden's Castellon. Here's the locker of a suspected seaweed mother. Light body, heavy body, ZOE, the works. Who knows how many dentists suckle at his teat. Don't be like Nigel. There's no stopping. So don't start. I wish I hadn't started. Wish I'd gotten help. Remember, the head's away. Just say.